Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I just want to quickly talk about the upcoming units and banners that both Global and JP players can expect to see in the game as we get closer to the end of the month. Now, we're going to start with the version that I personally main, which of course is the Global version. And uh, for a little while now, Global players have known that a new Broly is coming to our side of the game. And while we don't have a lot of specific details about his leader skill or his passive or anything like that, what we do know right now is that he's most likely going to be an LR unit. He's definitely going to have an active skill of some kind. And uh, he's also going to have transformations or at the very least one transformation. I'm not really sure if he's going to go through multiple forms. And uh, we also know that he will be based off the Broly from the second coming movie as opposed to the new Dragon Ball Super Broly. So I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed by that and I totally understand. And while I do personally like the new Dragon Ball Super Broly more than the OG Broly, I still got a lot of love for the OG Broly, so I don't really mind it too much. Of course, we already do have an OG LR Broly, so maybe people have an issue with that, but this Broly should be an entirely different unit, so I'm all good with that. But aside from those details that I just gave you guys, we don't really know too much else about this unit right now. Like I said, we don't know what his leader skill is going to be, what his passive is going to be, and as far as I'm aware right now, we don't really know what his transformations will even look like. So is he going to start from base form and go through multiple transformations? Or is he going to start as a Super Saiyan and go Berserk or any variation of that process? Not really sure right now. And also, one other thing we're not aware of that is pretty important is whether or not he's going to be a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR. Because number one, if he is a Dokkan Fest exclusive, he's going to be a lot easier to pull because the rates on Dokkan Fest banners, generally speaking, are quite a bit better than those legendary summon banners for non Dokkan Fest LRs. And number two is that on average, I believe that Dokkan Fest LRs are usually a little bit better than the non Dokkan Fest LRs. And of course, there are exceptions out there like LR Goku and Frieza, LR Kale and Khalifla, and so on and so forth, but think about the Dokkan Fest LRs, right? We got recently LR Gohan and Goten, who are absolutely amazing. There's also the LR Super Saiyan 4s and LR Gogeta and Vegito. So yeah, I'm really personally hoping just from, you know, a selfish, I mean, it's not really selfish, I guess. I just want people to be able to pull this guy easier. So him being a Dokkan Fest exclusive would be fantastic, but uh, that remains to be seen. But as far as, you know, this video right now, at the time of this filming, we don't really know anything else about this unit. I can tell you guys that I am personally very, very excited for him. And I do plan to summon with at least like 3 to 500 stones. We'll see how it goes, but keep an eye out and stay tuned for those videos if you guys want to see my summon results. And uh, if you guys enjoy watching a guy get shafted, then my summoning videos are generally a pretty good place to start. So. That's all I want to say about this Broly, of course, as more details come out in the next coming uh, days or, you know, next week. I'll let you guys know, keep you guys posted. And this guy is expected to drop on Global sometime next week. Unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date yet, but hopefully we'll know more about that as well once we get closer to the date. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So that's all I really got to say about the Global version for this video. We're going to get a transforming LR Broly, hopefully Dokkan Fest but maybe not, and uh, more details coming. All right, let's move on to the JP version of the game now. And prior to today, actually, we had no idea what was happening with that side because we had no details. But today, this morning, we did get the V-Jump leak, or at least part of it for Dokkan. And uh, as you can see, courtesy of Sun Lemon on Twitter, thank you to Sun Lemon, we will be expecting a uh, transforming Goku from the Namek Saga. So he starts off as Space Goku, and then he goes into... I guess rage mode. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that's a Dokkan Awakening. Okay, so he Dokkan awakens into this angry base Goku, and then through an active skill, he will become Super Saiyan Goku. And of course, like I said, from the Namek Saga, and this Goku actually isn't all we're getting. So apparently, according to all the Dokkan leakers out there, uh, Kawaii, Dokkaner, so on and so forth, we will also be getting a uh, transforming Frieza as well as part of this celebration. So once again, it's going to be a Namek Saga themed dual Dokkan Fest with a Goku and Frieza. And if that sounds familiar, then that's because I guess we kind of already got that with the transforming Goku and Frieza's uh, from a while ago. Of course, those guys were different because they went through like five different forms, right? All the way from base to uh, blue or golden. But this, these guys, they seem to be just 
you know, base form and then into their, uh, I guess, stronger form. So <laughs> essentially, Goku will go from base to Super Saiyan, and then Frieza most likely is going to go from, I guess, first form into his final form, and probably not gold because that's not really, you know, part of the Namek saga, right? So that's pretty much all we know right now. I don't see any other details about theater skills, passives, or anything like that. Maybe there's something on the page right now that you guys can read if you read Japanese, but I personally can't. And none of the data miners have really, or data leakers, have really given us any details about that. So all we know at the moment is that there will be a dual Tokon Fest coming at the end of the month for JP for a transforming Goku and Frieza. And uh, it's gonna be different from the original one. So if you guys are a little bit like upset about that, you're like, we already got the same thing. It's not quite the same thing because these are gonna be through active skills and I'm sure they'll do some very different things, which we'll find out in the future. Keep you guys posted about that as well, like I said. <laughs> so that's what we know about that. So the interesting thing is if you guys, you know, play JP, you would notice that we literally just got a dual toll confess with the Zamasu and Trunks. And that's not even over yet as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure the banners are still active. Of course, the discounts are gone, but I'm pretty sure the banners from that celebration are still active. And we're going straight into another dual dual confess, which just seems kind of rushed or excessive. I don't really know what the word is. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments down below how you guys feel about this. But as far as uh, from a guy, the perspective of a guy that plays both versions, and I do play JP quite a bit these days, I, I just feel like it's a little bit too much all at once, you know what I'm saying? Like, dual dual confess, generally speaking, are supposed to be spaced out. They're supposed to be major celebrations, and to have two back-to-back -back like this, it's kind of crazy. And I don't know why they decided to do this, but maybe this is going to become the norm where more dual dual confess are going to be kind of... Well, just like more consecutive dual dual confess are going to be kind of the, the normal... Um, release schedule, right? As opposed to having individual Dokkan Fest banners going forward. Or maybe this is going to be just an anomaly and in the future we're going to still go into or, you know, get single Dokkan Fest banners. I don't really know. I just feel like it's a lot all at once. And uh, if you're a JB player, especially if you're free to play, then that's going to be pretty taxing on your stones. I think most people are probably still not going to have too many stones left over right now or saved up because they probably spent most of them on the Trunks and Zamasu, as he should have, because they were amazing banners, right? And it remains to be seen how good these banners are for the Goku and Frieza, but like I said, I just feel like it's a lot all at once. But, I mean, that's just me. Maybe you guys feel like it's okay and it's all good. And, uh, oh, one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is I do really like the fact, I really, really like the fact that at least for the last little while and for these upcoming guys, Global and JP are getting different characters, and they're not, you know, and Global's not just getting the old characters that JP got, but Global's getting their own exclusive new characters, right? Like LR Gohan and Goten was one, and now this upcoming Broly is going to be another one. So that's also an awesome trend. I hope that continues, but maybe it's just going to be a little, like, gap filler between now and the four-year anniversary, and then after the four-year anniversary on Global, they're going to go back to the regular trend of giving Global, you know, the old JP stuff. Who really knows right now? I can't really say, but uh, all I can say is I really like this trend. I hope it continues. And uh, if Bandai Spies out there are listening, keep this up. Keep doing what you're doing, alright? So that's all the details I have for you guys. Um, LR Broly, Transforming Broly, coming out on Global next week, most likely. And at the end of the month as well, JP should get this dual Dokkan Fest with the Transforming Goku and uh, Frieza. And once more details come out, this is like the hundredth time I've said this, I will definitely keep you guys posted. So if you guys want to see those videos, I want to be you know in the loop for all that stuff, then I would recommend that you subscribe to the channel right now. Smash that subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad today. And also, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.